Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. We are on to our second nail polish haul of the year, but this is gonna be broken into two parts because I've spent so much through February. So what's already up, which I will link down below, is my December and January nail haul, um, and this is gonna be for February. So today I've, I'm gonna show you all the deals that I've come across, where I got them, how much I spent. I'm not bragging, I'm just trying to let you know what sort of deals you can get out there. So first of all, the first lot of stuff was from Sally's, everybody's nail must have place. So I've got my receipts, so I can tell you how much I paid for each thing, so I can't remember. So a couple of things about Sally's, people that don't know so much, is so some of them are trade only and some of them are anybody can shop there. Luckily the ones near me is quite a lot of them are just um, anyone, not trade only. But if you've got a trade card, they will reduce the prices down for you. So the first two things I'm gonna show you are full price. So. This is from the Gwen Stefani collection that came out from OPI. I was really excited for this collection, and I'm gonna be honest, I was quite underwhelmed. The colors I thought were pretty meh. I think they were kind of riding on the fact that they're like the different um, top, coats and finish, top coats and finishes. So the first one that I got is uh, Four in the Morning, which is the black satin effect, which is basically a black matte polish. I didn't need this, but I just wanted to get one just so I had a few of the collection because I love Gwen Stefani that much. I haven't used this yet, and I really like the fact that they've got like the instructions. A lot of people think it's a bit, they don't like it, but I think it's really cool. So I like that, Four in the Morning. The next one is Cult Classic push and shove um, pack. So it comes down with the little lay the base base coat and then over the top you need to put down Say hello to Lexi, everybody. So they put the push and shove over the top. This is like tin foil, metallic on your nails, amazing. My nails are quite pretty ridged, so I don't know how it's gonna work. I haven't tried either of these yet, but I'm looking forward to doing it. The only thing that I am concerned about is that the fact that the top base coat is this big, and look at the bottle. So what are you gonna do when your base coat runs out? I know people are working on finding it out, but it scares me for now. So next, I'm gonna go on to sale things. Um, the first thing I got was the most boring, if you will, and this was the t um, Top This Top Coat um, set by OBI. This was reduced down to £5.80. So if you can see, it comes with obviously all different types of top coats. So the first one is just the Top Coat by OPI, the light's really reflecting that. The um, matte top coat, which I didn't really need, I really bought it for the outside too. And then um, snowflakes in the air is the glitter that they provided. I think that was bad for five pounds eighty. That works out at just over just under two pounds a bottle, so you can't really complain with that. The next thing that I got, she could sit and watch me, probably. The next thing I got was the um, Ombre Shades of Grey kit by China Glaze. So this, knock your socks off, was actually £3.37. pence. So that's less than a pound a bottle, which is disgustingly low. So we have here um, white on white, pelican grey, black diamond, and silver lining is the glitter. So I didn't, I had already had um, this one here, black diamond, so I've actually donated that or given that one to a friend. And I really wanted pelican grey. So the other two were just really thrown in there. But I like them. I like apparently they come with little sponges in the top as well. So I'm really looking forward to giving this a go. Um, I'll next go through the other OP. I've only got one more OPI. So I've done a blog post this year. I did it in February, but it's actually my new nail year's resolutions. Just things, because I think I was getting into a bit of a rhythm of what I bought. I always bought China Glaze or OPI. So quite a lot of the things that are listed in there are products that I want to buy from other brands. This wasn't in there, but some of the other stuff was. And this is my first ever Liquid Sands. I still don't know how I'm gonna feel about it, but I'm gonna give it a go. If I don't like it, I'm just gonna put top coat on. I got this color because it reminded me of last Friday night um, from the Katy Perry collection. And this is Kiss Me at Mid, yeah, this is Kiss Me at Midnight. I believe it's from one of the Mariah Carey collections. I'm not sure which one. Um, and it was two pounds 50. So I think they're like, a, so without a trade card, I think they're like 11 50 or 12 pounds. So bargain. Next, we move on to the China Glaze. So the first one, there was loads of these. And I couldn't decide whether I really wanted to get loads or just got one. So I got one to test out. This is the OPI, OPI, China Glaze Holographic Collection. Um, and this was... Uh, £4.12 reduced and it is the, from, it's called Take a Trek. So it's the navy kind of colour. The only thing is you can't see in the bottle if it's the holographic really. I've just um, googled some swatch pictures afterwards and I, quite a lot of people have said this is one of the best in the collection. So I'm lucky that I picked this one up really. It was between this one and a lighter blue grey. So Take a Trek. Next we have um, 
This one is from last year's uh, Spring Collection, the Avant Garden Collection. This is Mimosas Before Manny's. I've got quite a few from this. I think I've got four or five. And I didn't really have any oranges in my collection. I only had like one or two. And I've bought loads. In this haul, you'll see like three or four. So I thought that I'd give this one a go. I also really liked the gold shimmer in the background that you can just see there. Um, this was reduced down to... Do, 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 £3.37 from so it's half that was half price and yeah I thought I'd give it a go the other thing you know I'm OCD look at the sticker the sticker's not in the middle I might have to peel it and move it that's how bad it is next we're moving on to the two absolute bargains the first one is Tree Hugger by China Glaze this is similar to Mimosas before Manny's it's got like that really subtle um green shimmer in the background um, this was one pound and seven pence. I know why this one was reduced because this was part of the core collection, which they've now updated and changed because they've put some of the Hunger Games collection in there that I noticed. And this obviously is no longer in the uh, permanent collection. So if you want it, you have to go down and grab some. Last of all, a bit of a story to this one. Um, Holly from Miss Holly Berries, and I'll link her down below. She listed, um, did a nail polish haul recently, and she'd been given some in a swap. And one of them was this polish. This is Glitter Goblin. So I think it was from two years ago from the Halloween collection. And this is absolutely amazing. And she said on the video, if anyone can go get it, get it. And I'd literally purchased this the day before for £1.07. So I don't know how many. They had a few when I was there. And I thought it was just so random. In the tallies that I go to, sometimes I have just such old collections reduced. So I don't know if they find them or in the storeroom or someone sends them down to be reduced. But this is Glitter Goblin. And this is, I say it looks like brown sugar. It's mainly obviously brown and then can you look at that look at all that holographic i don't know how it's going to look on the nail everybody says it looks really nice um look at all that holographic amazing so i know it looks like i spent a lot which i did but all of that from sally's topped up to 37 pounds includes the bit they add vat on afterwards so i wasn't that's a lot but not for what you got if you paid retail. That's what I keep telling myself. Think of the bargains. The next three things um, were on my uh, new Now Year's Resolutions video, uh, video blog post. So this is to try out some sinful colours. So I managed to pick up three. Um, they sell these in boots in the UK for about £2.50, I believe. But I actually found these in Poundland when I went in for just for some um, cotton buds and stuff like that. So this is, the first one is Chow Bella. And I don't know if you can see, it's really hard to pick up on camera because it looks kind of like this, but it's not. This is Zoya. Um, this is um, just a navy with jam-packed of really light blue glitter. And I think that's what makes it different for me because the glitter was on show all the time. So even in the dark, you could see like, not in the complete pitch black, but in like dark times when normally you have to go into sunlight to see the glitter, you could see it all the time. So this was Chow Bella. And I also like that because I always say Chow Bella to people. So it fitted me perfectly. The second one that I've also used is um, China, China Glaze. Get my words out, get my words out, get my words out. This is Cinderella by Simple Colours. This is a cult classic from what I understand and I don't know, I, don't, I understand why. So if you can see there, they've got that pink undertone shimmer. So that's what obviously makes it different. What I didn't like about it was that the shimmer was so strong, it made it look a funny colour. So if it looked like this colour and in the light you'd shine and it'd be pink, I'd be all for that. But it kind of makes it a funny colour all the time. Also, it is an absolute pain in the butt to apply, which I think is because of all the shimmer they've got in there, which obviously translates to the nail. So people complain because the shimmer doesn't translate to the nail, but if it translates to the nail, it was really goopy for me. So it was a pound. I'll probably wear it again, but it took four coats as well. It was really sheer. Last from this is another orange. Well, I don't have any oranges apparently. This is UFO by um, Simple Colours. And as you can see, it's an um, orange jelly and the my, look at the holographic and micro glitter in there. That is gorgeous. I really wanted orange for summer. Um, so now I've got a lot. I'm also going to do an ombre probably because I think I've now got five oranges. Because in my massive collection, I didn't have five oranges. And now I do. UFO by Simple Colours. The last one is Model Zone. Um, this wasn't on my new Now Year's resolutions, but it really should have been, because it's a really big British brand, and I don't think I've got any of the actual polishes. I've got one topper, or two topper colours, but... So I can left the price, and so I have to remember, this was £5 down to £2.99 at TK Maxx, and this is called Golden Shore. I'm really interested to try this. I don't know if it, I can pick it off really quick, because it's like an orange jelly, 
but then in the background they've got all these flake like all this flaky um gold which obviously makes it the golden shore and oh no i probably can get this off okay that, that'll do enough for now oh god no maybe not what's happening Oh, I'm not going to be able to fight into it. But so obviously you can see these really big, thick, chunky flakies. I don't know if that's going to make it really hard to apply, but I'll give it a go. Oh, it's, it's in a complete package. Oh, idiot. They actually peeling the price off and actually it was in like its own packaging. So uh, let's have a look at this. So that's what it looks like. So it's quite big, flaky bits of it and it looks like it's quite sheer. But we'll give it a go by itself. Once I'm trying to swatch through everything, so I've done most of the simple, I've done two of the simple colours, and I will go on and do all of them at some point. Um, I do upload to Instagram every two days, so keep an eye on that. So thank you so much for watching. This is part one. Part two is going to be mainly um, SE and TK at TK Maxx that I bought it, and um, also some Zoyas that I bought in a blog sale. Um, so thank you for watching. Thumbs up, like the video, leave me a comment. I'm going to link down Holly Berry's blog. I'm going to leave down my blog, and I'm also going to link my first video so thank you for watching and i'll speak to you all soon about more nail polish bye guys have a good day